I thought the same thing. You know, I didn't start smoking pot until about five years ago. I thought pot made you stupid. You know, I bought into it just as much as anybody did. I realized when I was like 30 years old that I was tricked. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. People say, well, you can abuse marijuana. Well, shit, you can abuse cheeseburgers too. You know, you don't go around closing Burger King because you can abuse something. I can take a fucking fork and jam it in my eyeballs. That mean forks should be illegal? You know, I could jump off a bridge. Should we outlaw bridges? Let's nerf the world. Spokesmen for giant special interest groups, whether those special interest groups be law enforcement or whether they're private prisons or whether they're pharmaceutical companies or whether they're oil companies. We have spokesmen for gigantic corporations that are trying to calm us and get us to press the right button in the voting booth. It's real simple. You put your loafers on, you put your black socks on, you get in your car, you have your briefcase, you say hi to your neighbors, he mows his lawn just like you do, and things keep moving along in the same direction they always have been. That's why marijuana laws exist. If people do do drugs and they commit crimes along those drugs, they should, in fact, be punished. But you can't punish someone for something that hurts no one. In 10,000 years of known use of marijuana, there's never been a single death attributed to marijuana. There's 400,000 deaths in America alone every year that are directly attributed to tobacco. How many people in this country alone are addicted to antidepressants? How many people who are on antidepressants really have imbalances and how many of them just got off of a bad relationship and they're depressed? The people that have personality problems and the people that are going to be lazy and going to lose their job, they're going to lose their job anyway. They're not losing their job because of marijuana. That's just a lie. Great quote that uh, life is uh, a tragedy to those who feel and a comedy to those who think. And if you are a thinker and you look at the marijuana situation and you're not laughing, you're fucking dumb. It's a weird thing that you do when you make nature against the law. There's a movement in this country and some people have more faith in it than, than I do. Uh, I've maybe from hosting Fear Factor all those years, I've lost my faith in human beings and, and their intelligence. When I published Marijuana Reconsidered, uh, I in the last chapter predicted that once people understood these things about marijuana, the prohibition would be gone. It would be gone in 10 years. Carl Sagan, who was a very good friend of mine, read the manuscript and he said, Lester, you're so pessimistic. 10 years? <laughs> you know, well, here we are, you know, uh, uh, 45 years later and nothing has happened. Nonetheless, it can't help but happen. I mean, you can't sustain a lie like that forever.